chatting about this uh, a little bit yesterday because Villa have their moment in the sunshine, they have their moment in the green in the performance rankings and there was an interesting line in the Guardian wrap-up of the weekend. John Bruin was doing uh, his, one of the 10 talking points for the weekends and he said, uh, last August a team still coached by Steven Gerrard was booed from the field after a 1-0 loss to a West Ham in poor early season form and were well short of the depth and quality they brought to Villa Park 14 months on and yet only Danny Ings of that day's Villa starting lineup has since departed the club. So that gives a sense that maybe 14 months ago, the team is fairly similar to how it is today. But, but I went to look back at Stephen Gerrard's last team in the Premier League. So this is when they were beaten uh, 3-0, wasn't it, by Fulham. Uh, I'll go through this uh, for anyone listening. So it's uh, Martinez and goal, who's still there, obviously. Uh, Ezri Konza and uh, Tyrone Mings are still at the club. Mings uh, injured at the moment. The other two in the back four uh, are Jan Bednarek and Ashley Young. Obviously, Ashley Young has gone to Everton while Bednarek was merely on loan last season. Uh, they played three in midfield on this occasion. It was uh, Ramsey, Louise and uh, John McGinn. Obviously, Jacob Ramsey is injured at the moment, but Louise and McGinn are still there. And then it was Leon Bailey and Ollie Watkins, who both played at the weekend, playing behind Danny Ings, who left uh, the club, obviously, during the summer. And on the bench, the, the bench is, is interesting as well. You've got... Uh, the bench of Cash, Buendia, Dendonker, Archer, Sanson, Chambers, Nakamba, Coutinho and Robin Olsen. So there's a bit of turnover there, to say the least. So potentially more pronounced than it kind of is made out with I, regards to the, the work that Unai Emery's had to do. I think that that was like a last throw of the dice team from Steven Gerrard. And if you'd gone back a previous week or two weeks before that, you would have had Mings, McGinn, Watkins on the bench. And like they couldn't get a game at the start of the season for him when he really needed to... Um, put the team together. Um, now they have cleared out a lot of that dead wood. Yes, but uh, but also as well, I think Unai Emery deserves a huge amount of credit for some of the setbacks he has had this season. Like the, the Mings injury is hugely significant, even within that one game against Newcastle. That was a complete calamity for them after Mings goes off the pitch. And like th- there was there was no time to, to to properly replace him. And you're kind of re- relying on someone like Pau Torres who came on that afternoon. Looked a little bit like a deer in the headlights, and then uh, suddenly has has uh, has got a bit better. And then uh, Konza, obviously, he's he signed a long term deal a few weeks ago, and and has really stepped up this season. And sure, Unai Emery has benefited from a good squad being there before he came in, but with the likes of Monchi and his backroom, not in his backroom team, but at the at the club, the recruitment's going to be good. And then it seems like Unai Emery is just a bloody good man manager in terms of squeezing mm. the the last percentage out of a out of a young player. 